Qatar has really played a crucial and active role in negotiations between Hamas and Israel since October 7th. How are those negotiations going? Well, it's been uh, actually a very long process. Uh, and especially in the past few weeks, we have seen some momentum building, but uh, unfortunately, things didn't move in the right direction. And uh, right now, uh, we are in, in a status of almost a stalemate. Uh, of course, uh, what happened with Rafah has set us backward a little bit. Uh, I think, you know, there, is, there are a lot who are not understanding the nature of, of uh, this uh, conflict and mediation, and there is a lot of misconception about it. Because if we will look at it, uh, when there are two parties who want to agree on something, you need to agree on, on the baseline, first of all. And I believe that what we are seeing there is a fundamental difference between the two parties. There is one party who wants to end the war and then talk about the hostages. There is another party who wants the hostages and who wants, and wants to continue the war. And as long as there is no any commonality between those two things, it won't uh, get us to a result. I believe it's very important for for all of us right now to see what's happening with all this uh, distraction that's happened in Gaza, enough is enough. We need to stop the war. We need to focus on, on the future. What's uh, the catastrophe in, in Gaza, actually, if you look at it, most of the reports saying that it will need 40 to 50 billion to rebuild it until 2040. So the amount of destruction, we, we didn't see much of it. Only what we see on screens probably will not represent more than 10, 20% of what's really there happening. And of course, you know, adding to this the risks of uh, uh, the spillover of the war, and uh, we have seen, uh, you know, the region became a very turbulent region, whether it's on the Red Sea and Lebanon, and uh, this, this risk is just going to increase.